Hello everyone, this is James at Point Shop. Today I received uh, one printhead from the customer. That um, The printhead number is HP713. It's a similar printhead as HP950, 952, 962. And the reason why sent me the printhead is um, it was a little clogged and customer tried to clean it out and they gave it too much pressure uh, when they injecting the solution into the chamber like this and they gave it too much pressure and then finally popped off as you see here there's no binder covers on top of it these two colors are okay but this one has no covers so I'm gonna fix this and then unclog the printhead today. Um, usually, when it's popped off, um, the binding broken. Just leave it as it is. Do not take it off. If you take them off, you know it's more hard to repair it. So uh, this needs. There's two way to fix this. Um, first, um, you can use some of uh, this strong the tapes like this it's not actually tape uh, it's, it's a it's, it's a nozzle uh, nozzle protector the screen I mean the film and just you know put it on top of there It's not going to be that strong. So um, usually when this happens, I use the oops. I use this uh, the the silicone mold. They made it for this print here. So I need uh, let me see. I need two of this. The la the in the last one, the black color, the yellow color. Is it yellow? Uh, I don't know, it looks like a cyan color. Okay, so I'm gonna use these two of these. Uh, <clears throat> and like this the other colors gonna be go like this like this this is it Okay, so um, to work on this, I gotta put. See, even if, if you put it on without the um, the glue on it, then it's still gonna leak. So I'm gonna put some glue, the crazy glue, super glues from Loctite super glue. I bought it from Home Depot.
Mm. Oh shoot! That's <laughs> pretty quick. Okay, let it dry. I do the other one. Oh yeah. Make sure when you put it on, you have to wipe up all the like you know the moisture. In the chamber. Oops. Okay. Because we pretty quick, cause uh, the glue dries pretty fast. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's done. Let it sit in a little while. Make sure you stick on the right spot. You know, strong enough. So this done. And also, um, uh, as a visually, um, the ship will take the the vine looks fine to me. But uh, no, I'm just gonna leave. Usually, um, for 952, I usually um, change this for the customers, even they don't request, because it's been like a seven or eight years old print, old print head, and this uh, stickiness got weak, and then when they, when the printer pumping the air, and then it usually pops off, and then, then losing the air, and then you, then you kind of keep on having a deplete message on the, on your printer. So, okay, but it looks fine to me though, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, once you put this on, actually you can't like, you know, you can't, I can't put this, um, the chamber clip when the the when I clean the print head. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, little uh, clean, clean it, clean it, clean it. Uh, this one. Check see if anything, anything's clogged. Let's go for the black. Okay.
Okay, um, it looks well sealed because um, when I sat in the um, the laptop in clean, laptop solution in the chamber, I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, let's see, see the this one is squeezed. I don't know if you know it or not. And then this one also squeezed. Well, that means it sealed well. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the um, pigmentic uh, cleaner to make sure rinse it out the strong cleaning solutions. It's not water. It's a cleaning solution for the pigmentic only. It looks like a latex ink, but it's still okay for the latex. So I'm gonna put it in and then. Now let's test it. I don't have a machine to test this print head, but uh, when I with the customers, um, I'm gonna try to fix it, and then if, uh, once I'm done, I'll send it back to them, and then they test it. Cause I don't have ink for this too. I'll test it, and then if it works good, then I get paid. This might be four dollar job. Okay, I'm gonna test yellow. The penny nose nose clogged. It looks fine to me. Red. I can't really give a you know strong big pressure because hard pressure because kind of kind of afraid to break in this. Here's a problem. Black looks totally clogged. Doesn't even go in. That's what I mean. Let's see. Let's see what's the problem with this. This is start getting leak, leaking out. <clears throat> mm.
No, it looks fine, but I don't know what's the problem with this. Let me check. I don't know. What's the problem with it? <clears throat> Let me take this off. I don't know what's gonna be up. Just took it off again. See if anything is anything's clogged inside. In the tent, in the Uh, okay, uh, this print I uh, repaired the chamber uh, cover, but uh, the black was totally clogged, not even, you know, uh, tongue clog this. There's at least some, like, you know, at least they got there's supposed, there supposed to be a little space that I can inject in the cleaning solution, but not at all. I mean, it's kind of like totally totally clogged I think caused by the water that uh, the customer told me it just had a little line on it and he tried to clean it and but he been using the uh, reg I think I even used using the regular water to rinse it out for the regular water there's you know there's like a I don't know how to call it in English but you know that the white stuff that you know when, when you're using the water for a long time there's uh, the white things stick on around the Closet, right? So, yeah, those things clog the nozzle. The nozzle is pretty, pretty tiny, so it's easy, easily easy to clog. So, if you want to use the water, you have to use distilled water. But actually, the water just lins, you know, water just works for lins it out. It doesn't really, if it's clogged, you know, and by the dye sink and or by chemical reaction, it really don't work. So uh, for this, I gotta call the customer, but uh, the main issue I repaired. I'm not gonna charge you anything, but um, I'm just gonna return this print head to the customer and just tell him that the place totally closed, not able to unclog it. So um, yeah, that's about it. So if you have one of these 713 print head, you can buy those uh, 
this. You know, the suction clips and chamber clips, and then uh, the suction tips, yellow. Oh, with these three of them, and then uh, this small bottle of uh, 20 milliliter bottle of uh, clean solution, you can clean up by yourself. <clears throat> oh, if you have a problem, you can request me this. Um, the chamber covers, the board for the 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 the, the silicone cap for the chamber. Okay, uh, that's about it. You can send me the. You can send. You can call me nine zero nine eight one five six six a one, or you can text text me nine zero nine eight one five six six a one, or you can send me email sales s a l e s at proinkshop dot com p r o i n k s h o p dot com. Ask me about this printhead cleaning or purchasing these tools. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.